हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ पाथ फंडेस एकेडमी आई एम मेहुल एंड कंटिन्यूइंग विद अ करंट ऑफ एस सीरीज फॉर द अपकमिंग सी डी एस एफ कैट एन आई बी एग्जामिनेशन बिफोर वी मूव अलॉन्ग आई वुड लाइक टू रिमाइंड यू ऑल दैट वी हैव लॉन्च अ कोर्स ऑन एन अकेडमी फॉर द अपकमिंग सी ए पी एफ एग्जामिनेशन इन दिस कोर्स डॉक्टर प्रशांत जगताप अलॉन्ग फॉर्मर असिस्टेंट कमांडेंट ऑफ सी आई एस एफ अलॉन्ग विद मिस दिव्या गुप्ता फॉर्मर असिस्टेंट कमांडेंट ऑफ द सी आर पी एफ मिस संजय कुमार एक्स इंडियन आर्मी एंड एक्स इंटेलिजेंस ब्यूरो एंड देर टीम विल बी कंडक्टिंग लाइव लेक्चर्स दिस कोर्स वॉज लॉन्च ऑन एटीन ऑफ जनवरी एंड विल कंटिन्यू अंटिल थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ जुलाई सिमिलरली वी हैव ऑल्सो लॉन्च अ कोर्स फॉर द आई बी ए सी आई एग्जामिनेशन इन विच मिस्टर संजय कुमार अलॉन्ग विद डॉक्टर प्रशांत जगताप एंड मिस दिव्या गुप्ता एंड देर टीम विल बी कंडक्टिंग लेक्चर्स एंड ऑन यूजिंग द कोड प्रशांत वाई टी टेन यू गाइज कैन अवेल ए स्पेशल डिस्काउंट ऑफ टेन परसेंट सो प्लीज हरी एंड आई एम हैप्पी टू अनाउंस दैट वी आर लॉन्चिंग अ बैच फ्रॉम फर्स्ट ऑफ फेब्रुआरी विच विल गो ऑन एंटिल थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ जुलाई ऑन द सेम प्लेटफॉर्म द नेम ऑफ द बैच इज टारगेट सी ए पी एफ and again on using the code prashant yt10 you can avail this special discount so let's begin who has launched the next generation startup challenge contest named chunauti i'm sorry and the answer is mr ravi shankar prasad union minister mr ravi shankar prasad minister of electronics and information technology launched next generation startup challenge contest named chunauti to encourage startups and software products with special focus on tier 2 towns this contest is a part of the rupees 95 crore program spanning over 3 years and will hunt for around 300 startups working in identified areas and to provide them seed funds of up to rupees 25 lakhs and other support from government through the software technology parks of india India has granted the fourth tranche of 5 million US dollars to which country for the development of projects in border areas the answer is Myanmar India granted the fourth tranche of 5 million US dollars to Myanmar for the development of India Myanmar border area in this regard the Indian ambassador to Myanmar Saurabh Kumar handed over the ceremonial check to Lieutenant General Yi Aung, Minister for Border Affairs, Myanmar. This funding is on the lines of the Memorandum of Understanding signed by our ex-Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh in 2012, according to which India would grant a total of 25 million US dollars to Myanmar, divided into five tranches of 5 million dollars annually. starting 2017 for projects on india myanmar border myanmar shares around 1600 kilometers of border with four northeastern states of india and the states are manipur nagaland arunachal pradesh and mizoram which country has co-sponsored united nations security council resolution introduced for i'm sorry introduced by indonesia for greater participation of women in peacekeeping forces the answer is india india co-sponsored united nation security council resolution for greater participation of women in peacekeeping forces the united nations security council resolution called on full effective and meaningful participation of women in peacekeeping operations The resolution was tabled by Indonesia, which has been seconded by India, which is the fifth largest troop contributor to UN peacekeeping operations. The resolution has been passed by a consensus. In May 2020, Indian women peacekeeper Major Suman Gawani won the United Nations Military General Advocate Award. She served as a peacekeeper in the United Missions. I'm sorry United Nations mission in South Sudan Name the first Indian origin woman who has been honored with a memorial blue plaque and the answer is Noor Inayat Khan 
Noor Inayat Khan, also known as Nora Baker, Britain's World War II spy who served in the Special Operations Executive, became the first Indian origin woman to be honoured with a memorial blue plaque at her former family home in London, UK. She is the first Muslim war heroine of Britain and first female wireless operator sent from the United Kingdom into Nazi-occupied France to aid the French resistance during World War II. She was born on 1st January 1914 in Moscow, Russia. Last year, a movie named A Call to Spy was launched. And in this movie, Miss Radhika Apte played the role of Noor Inayat Khan. Which bank is set to receive Brandon Human Capital Management Excellence Award 2020 for its HR initiative, Naidisha? The answer is State Bank of India. State Bank of India is set to receive Brandon Human Capital Management Excellence Award also known as Academy Awards of Learning and Development 2020, a global recognition for its HR initiative, Nai Disha. The award winners will be honoured at Brandon Hall Group's annual HCM Excellence Conference held between January, 2000, uh, I'm sorry, January 26 and 28, 2021 at the Hilton West Palm Beach, Florida. SBI partnered with Mrs. Chrysalis and developed Nai Disha program. SBI has won the award in the HCM Spring program under Excellence in Learning and Development in three categories, namely Best Learning Program Supporting a Change Transformation, tra a change transformation Business Strategy Gold, Best Use of Blended Learning and Best Unique or Innovative Learning Gold, and development program for its HR initiative, Silva. Who is the first Divyang sportsperson of the country to get the prestigious Tenzing Norge Adventure Award? And the answer is Satendra Singh Lohia. Para swimmer Satendra Singh Lohia of Madhya Pradesh is the first Divyang Indian sportsperson of the country who has been awarded with the Tenzing Norge Adventure Award. He is also the first Asian Divyang swimmer to cross the 42km Catalina Channel in the United States in just 11 hours and 34 minutes. Union Minister for Education Ramesh Pokhriyal, also known as Nishank, addressed the two-day World Urdu Conference organized by the National Council for Promotion of Urdu Language, the NCPUL. Where is the headquarters of NCPUL PUL located? The answer is New Delhi. Which edition of India's Singapore Defence Policy Dialogue was recently held? I'm sorry. Which edition of India's Singapore Defence Policy Dialogue was held recently? The answer is 14th edition. India and Singapore carried out a review of their defence ties at the virtual meet on the uh, of the 14th India-Singapore Defence Policy Dialogue. The DPD was co-chaired by India's Defence Secretary, Dr. Ajay Kumar, and Permanent Secretary for Defence, Singapore, Mr. Chan Hing Ki, who represented India in the 8th Asia, uh, East Asia Summit Economic Ministers Meeting. Uh, which was held recently and the answer is Piyush Goel, Mr. Piyush Goel. 8th East Asia Summit Economic Ministers Meeting was held virtually which was attended by economic ministers from 10 ASEAN member states Australia, China, India, Japan and Republic of Korea, New, New Zealand, the Russian Federation and the United States. The meeting was chaired by Tran Tau Han, Minister of Industry and Trade of Vietnam. From Indian side, it was attended by Mr. Piyush Goel, Minister of Railways and Minister of Common Commerce and Industry. 
which country has launched the watch warship type 054 class 4 Pakistan army? The answer is China. China launched the first of the four advanced warships, the type 054 class frigates for the Pakistan Navy. The type 054 class frigate is manufactured by China Shipbuilding Trading Company Limited and was launched in the Chinese state-owned Hudong Zhonghua shipyard, Shanghai. The astronomers of Aryabhatta Research Institute of Observational Sciences, ARIS, have re discovered the aberration in the formations of the stars in dwarf galaxies recently. The ARIS is located in which city? The answer is Nainital, Uttarakhand. ARIS astronomers Dr. Amitesh Omar and Dr. Sumit Jaiswal from the Department of Science and Technology of Aryabhatta Research Institute of Observational Sciences, ARIS, based in Nainital, Uttarakhand, discovered the aberration in the formations of the stars in dwarf galaxies while studying several such galaxies. This was, uh, I'm sorry, this will provide an understanding about the formation of stars and evolution of less massive galaxies in the universe. Which country is set to host the BRICS Games 2021? The answer is India. Minister of State for Youth Affairs and Sports, Mr. Kiran Rijiju, attended the meeting between the sports ministers of BRICS. During the meeting, the ministers assessed the impact of COVID-19 on sports and discussed ways to bring back normalcy in the industry. After the meeting, Sports Minister Mr. Kiran Rijiju announced that India will host the BRICS Games in 2021 and may align it with Halo India Games in India. Haryana will host the fourth edition of Halo Games, uh, Halo India Youth Games. The National Sports Day was ob is observed annually on August two thousand uh, August twenty nine to commemorate the birth anniversary of whom? The answer is Dhyan Chand Singh. National Sports Day is annually observed on 29th August to commemorate the birth anniversary of Indian hockey legend Major Dhyan Chand Singh. The day is celebrated to create awareness among the general public on the importance of sports and to attract attention towards sports in India. The government of India decided to celebrate the uh, celebrate 29th August of every year as National Sports Day in 2012. Dhyanchand was born on 29th August 1905 in Allahabad, Uttar Pradesh. The Sports Authority of India hosted the first virtual National Sports and Adventure Awards Ceremony during National Sports Day 2020. The prize money of Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna Award was increased from 7.5 lakh rupees to the answer is 25 lakh rupees. The 29 on 29th August 2020, Kiran Rijiju announced a hike in four of the seven categories of National Sports and Adventure Awards. The prize money of Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna Award was increased from Rs. 7.5 lakh to Rs. 25 lakhs. Arjun Award has been increased from Rs. 5 lakhs to Rs. 15 lakhs. The Lifetime Dronacharya Award was increased from Rs. 5 lakhs to Rs. 15 lakhs. And regular Dronacharya award was increased from rupees 10 lakhs to rupees 25 lakhs. The Hanshan awardees will be given 10 lakh rupees instead of 5 lakh. Which Central Arm Police Force has launched the app named Pensioners Corner? The answer is Central Industrial Security Force CISF. The Central Industrial Security Force has created and launched an in-house mobile application, Pensioners Corner, to get in touch with the 
pensioners and to bring them to the digital platform as a one-stop solution. It will also cater to the needs of the pensioners. It is a part of its e karyale an electronic office app launched in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. The Director General of CISF is Shri Subodh Kumar Jaiswal, IPS of the 1985 batch Maharashtra Kader. Nubra Valley, which was in news recently, is located in which state or union territory? The answer is Ladakh Union Territory. The government has started work on rupees 1200 crore project to connect the Nubra Valley and Jhanskar Valley in Ladakh to the national power grid as part of efforts to boost infrastructure in the Ladakh region. The government has started work on rupees 1200 crore project to connect the northernmost tip of the country, the Nubra Valley and highly remote central area, the Jhanskar Valley with the national power grid. The headquarters of United Nations Development Program, the UNDP, is located in which state? Uh, I'm sorry, in which city? The answer is New York. The headquarters of United Nations Development Program, UNDP, is located in New York, United States. Where is the headquarters of the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty, the CTBTO, located? The answer is Vienna, Austria. The Comprehensive Nuclear, Treat, uh, Nuclear Test Ban Treaty Organization is an international organization that was established upon the entry into the force of Comprehensive nuclear, ban, uh, nuclear Test Ban Treaty, a convention that outlaws nuclear test explosions. Which airport has won the National Energy Leader and Excellent Energy Efficient Unit Awards at the 21st National Awards for Excellence in Energy Management? The answer is Rajiv Gandhi International Airport, Hyderabad. The GMR operated Rajiv Gandhi International Airport, Hyderabad, won the National Energy Leader and Excellent Energy, uh, I'm sorry, Excellent Energy Efficient Unit Awards at the 21st National Awards for Excellence in Energy Management. It was organized by Confederation of Indian Industry, the CII, and Godrej Grin Business Center, the GBC. The award was given during the 19th edition of Energy Efficiency Summit Virtual Conference and exposition on energy efficiency held from august 6 to august 28 2020 russia ispat nigam limited vizag steel plant has also been awarded excellent energy efficient unit award by the cii gbc in national award competition for excellence in energy management Who co-chaired the 17th ASEAN-India Economic Ministers' Meet along with Vietnam's Tran Van Han? The answer is Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad. I'm sorry, the answer is Piyush Goel. The 17th Association of Southeast Asian Nations ASEAN, India, Economic Minister's Consultations was held virtually, which was co-chaired by Minister of Commerce and Industry and Railways, Mr. Piyush Goel, and Minister of Industry and Trade of Vietnam, Tran Van Han. The focus of the meet was to discuss the reviewing of ASEAN-India Trade in Goods Agreement, the AITIGA, which has been recommended by ASEAN India Business Council report submitted during the meet. Then the e-market platform which was launched to bridge gap between Indian farmers and the UAE food industry. The answer is Agriota. United Arab Emirates launched Agriota, a new 
technology driven agri commodity trading and sourcing e market platform which was during a launch ceremony which was also attended by pawan kapoor ambassador of india to the uae the market platform aims to bridge the gap between millions of rural farmers in india and the gulf nations food industry this launch followed the india uae virtual buyer seller meet turtle forge a new path in covid-19 organized on august 20th it has been named uh, i'm sorry it has been launched by dubai's free zone dubai multi commodities center and the government of dubai authority on commodities trade and enterprise who has won the belgian grand prix 2020 the answer is lewis hamilton formula 1 champion mercedes mercedes's lewis hamilton won the belgian grand prix 2020 at circuit de spa francochamps belgium this is his fourth belgian grand prix win the record equals jim clark and kimi raikkonen in the third position in all time most wins of belgian grand prix behind martin schumacher who has won the event six times ayrton senna who has won the event five times with this victory he claimed his 89th career title which among the following countries agreed to launch a trilateral supply chain resilience initiative in the indo-pacific region the answer is india australia japan india japan and australia agreed to launch a trilateral supply chain resilience initiative in the indo-pacific region the initiative will help in building a resilient supply chain with focus on free transparent trade and investment environment in the region the initiative was decided at a virtual meeting comprising australia's minister for trade tourism and investment senator simon birmingham india's minister of commerce and industry mr piyush goel and japan's ministry i'm sorry japan's minister of economy trade and industry kajiyama hiroshi The initiative was proposed by Japan and will aim to reduce the dependency on China and counter its dominance on trade. Which institute of CSIR has developed the world's largest solar tree at Durgapur, West Bengal? The answer is Central Mechanical Engineering Research Center. The Council of Scientific and Industrial Research Central Mechanical Engineering Research Institute developed the world's largest solar tree with customizable features for application in different locations and install it in the residential colony of CMERI at Durgapur West Bengal Where is the headquarters of Hindustan Shipyard Limited located The answer is Visakhapatnam Andhra Pradesh The HSL is a shipyard located in Visakhapatnam, Andhra Pradesh, on the east coast of India. Which is the first country in the world that planned to release a set of standards for forensic accounting and investigation? The answer is India. The Institute of Chartered Accountants of India, the ICAI, plans to come out with a detailed set of forensic accounting and investigation standards by the end of december 2020 the move will make india the first country in the world to release a set of standards for forensic forensic accounting and investigation the council of icai has accepted the proposal of digital accounting and assurance board of icai to develop a uh, develop and issue a set of forensic accounting and investigation standards The 51st edition of International Film Festival of India will be held in which state or union territory? The answer is Goa. The 51st edition of International Film Festival of India was held in Goa.
this was the first hybrid film festival who has won the first women director general i'm sorry who has become the first women director general of bureau of civil aviation security the answer is usha padhi usha padhi ias officer of 96 batch from of the odisha cadre became the first women and the third ias officer to be appointed as the director general of bureau of civil aviation security a security leg- regulator of civil aviation industry in india under the ministry of civil aviation she succeeded mr rakesh asthana an ips officer who was appointed as the director general of border security force on 17th august 2020 The headquarters of Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India is located in which city? The answer is Hyderabad, Telangana. The headquarters of Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India is located at Hyderabad, Telangana. Pang Habsol is the festival celebrated in which state? The answer is Sikkim. Pang Lapsol a festival of cultural heritage and historical importance is one of the most historically and culturally significant festivals celebrated annually by Sikkim's people this festival is celebrated only in this state it commemorates the blessing of mount kanchenjunga as the golden deity of sikkim also observed for the swearing treaty of blood brotherhood between the lepchas and bhutias of kabi longchuk sikkim under the witness of mount kanchenjunga union cabinet has approved the launch of which mission to enable government officers and employees to get the opportunity to improve their performance The answer is Mission Karma Yogi. The Union Cabinet has approved the launch of a national program for civil services capacity building, or Mission Karma Yogi, to enable government officers and employees to get the opportunity to improve their performance under I Got Karma Yogi digital platform, or I G O T Karma Yogi platform. In this regard, a sum of rupees five hundred and ten point eight six crore. will be spent over a year of 5 years starting from 2020 to 2024-25 to cover around 46 lakh central employees the expenditure is partly funded by multilateral assistance to the tune of 50 million us dollars the objective of this mission is to prepare the indian civil servant for the future with right attitude skills and knowledge aligned to the vision of new india by focusing on competency led capacity building this information has been provided by mr prakash javdekar union minister of information and broadcasting india has signed an mou with which country for its field in geology and mineral resources approved by the union cabinet recently The answer is Finland. The central government has approved uh, has approved an MOU for cooperation in the field of geology and mineral resources between Geological Survey of India, Ministry of Mines of India, and Geological Survey of Finland, Ministry of Employment and Economy, Finland. This MOU to develop the cooperation in the field of geology, training, marine prog. I'm sorry. Mineral prognostication and suitability analysis, 3D and 4D modeling, seismic and other geophysical surveys, finalizing the strength, uh, finalizing to strengthen the scientific links between both the nations. The organization which released the report titled "Enhancing Nationally Determined Contributions for Food Systems." The answer is UNEP, United Nations Environment Program. 
a report enhancing nationally determined contributions for food systems published by the worldwide fund and united nations environment program with non profit organization eat and think tank climate focus based on strengthening food systems in the age of climate crisis the report stated that policy makers can improve the chances of achieving climate goals and limiting global warming to 1.5 degrees celsius by making more specific commitments to transforming national food systems the report identified 16 ways to address the issue and put it to put it forward in the public domain for policy makers to take action the researchers from kerala and west bengal have identified system is gracilis a new side print a family of freshwater fish from which river the answer is ganges river or ganga the researchers from kerala and west bengal have identified system as gracilis a new side print fish from ganges river at nayhati in uh, nayhati of west bengal the discovery was published as a, as an article in the journal of experimental zoology the science and engineering research board a statutory body under the department of science and technology has funded this project eklavya model residential schools were established by which ministry the answer is human uh, ministry of human resource development for the first time sudha painuli a vice principal of eklavya model residential school which is established under the ministry of tribal affairs has been selected for national award to teachers 2020 sudha painuli is the vice principal vice principal of eklavya model research uh, eklavya model residential school kalsi dehradun since its establishment mrs painuli made it in the list of 47 outstanding teachers after a three stage rigorous online transparent program union ministry of education formerly known as ministry of human resources development and department of school education and literacy constituted an independent jury at national level to bestow the national award to teachers for the year 2020 which state received the first inland shipping cargo from Bang- bangladesh under protocol of inland water trade and transit the answer is tripura the daukandi in bangladesh and sonamura in tripura inland water protocol route has been operationalized giving further boost to bilateral trade between india bangladesh relations under protocol for inland water trade and transit this is the first ever export consignment from bangladesh to tripura through the inland waterways in the last one year approximately 3.5 million metric tons of cargo was transported between india and bangladesh on the protocol routes which edition of mekong ganga cooperation senior officials meeting was held in september 2020 and the answer is 12th 12th mcg or mgc senior officials meeting took place virtually the key areas of cooperation were tourism cultural uh, culture education transport and communications were discussed and reviewed under the meeting The meeting was attended by senior officials of all six MGC member states that is India, Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar, Thailand and Vietnam. It was co-chaired by Mr. Vijay Thakur Singh, Secretary, Ministry of External Affairs and Mr. So Sokhen, an uh, under secretary of state, Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Cambodia. Chakra Innovation the incubated startup of which iit has launched decontamination device named chakra decov to decontaminate to decontaminate the n95 masks the answer is iit delhi iit delhi incubated startup chakra innovation 
launched a, launched an ozone based decontamination device named chakra decov to decontaminate the n95 masks and re reuse up to 10 times ashwini kumar chobe minister of state for health and family welfare launched a device over a virtual platform the device was developed by the chakra innovation team led by tushar batham with the guidance of researchers and professors of iit delhi how many countries were part of mekong ganga cooperation the answer is 6 the mgc was launched in the year 2000 at vientiane laos it is an initiative by six countries which includes india and five asean nations that is cambodia laos myanmar thailand and vietnam the main area of the main areas of cooperation between mgc are tourism culture education transport and communications which iit signed an mou with national institute of urban affairs for collaboration in building accessible safe inclusive cities or basic program the answer is iit roorkee iit roorkee and national institute of urban affairs launched a memorandum of signed a memorandum of understanding to collaborate in the areas like universal design principles and inclusive development of the building accessible safe inclusive indian cities program of the national institute of urban affairs which edition of the in us india strategic partnership forum annual leadership summit was held between august 31st and september 3rd 2020 on the theme india us navigating new challenges the answer is third third edition the five days long us india strategic partnership forum third annual leadership summit was held from august 31st to september 3rd on the theme us india navigating new challenges the aim of the summit was to discuss enhancing strategic and economic collaboration between the us and india with focus on trade and investment healthcare collaboration in fintech technology and india's position in global supply chain usispf was formed in 2017 in and is the only independent bilateral organization that is committed to uh, committed to creating the most powerful strategic partnership between us and india where is the headquarters of food and agriculture organization located the answer is rome the headquarters of food and agriculture organization is located at rome italy with this i would like to remind you all that we have launched an online batch on an academy for the upcoming capf examination and also for the upcoming ibacio examination Soon we'll be launching a batch for for the upcoming CAPF examination on an academy, and the name is Target CAPF 2021. In this course, Dr. Prashant Jagtap, ex assistant commandant of CISF, along with Ms. Divya Gupta, ex assistant commandant of CRPF, Mr. Sanjay Kumar, ex Indian Army and IB, along with their team, will be conducting live lectures. The course will be launched on 1st February and will conclude on 31st of July. And on using the code PRASHANTYT10, you guys can avail a special discount of 10%. So please hurry and see you all in the next video. The PDF of this lecture or this session will be updated in the description box.